Middleware is one of the core functionality of any ASP.NET Core web application. When we send a request from browser to the server, then middleware is something that comes in picture. In this video, we will talk about middleware. Before learning more about middlewares, let's understand how the HTTP request pipeline works in ASP.NET Core web application. Suppose here I have a browser and here on the right side I have a server. On this server I have deployed an ASP.NET Core web application and suppose this web application has three controllers. When we send a request from browser to the server, then in the beginning we generally assume that this request directly goes to the controller. Then it goes to the action method of that particular controller and then that action method decide what data will be the output for the response and then we generally get the response. In reality, before hitting the controller, the request has to pass through a pipeline. Once the pipeline is complete, then it hits the controller. Let's understand about this pipeline in more detail. Suppose here is the code for the HTTP request pipeline and here I have the browser. A request pipeline in ASP.NET Core can have multiple middlewares. As of now you can assume a middleware is just a code. Let's say we have added few lines of code and I have just inserted all these codes one by one in this HTTP request pipeline. Let's say we are sending a request from this browser to the server. Then first of all it will come to the first middleware. And definitely there will be some code in this middleware that code will get executed and if there is a method with name next then it will pass the execution from first middleware to the second middleware again here there will be some code that is written for the middleware 2 that code will get executed and again if there is the next method in this middleware 2 then the request will travel from middleware 2 to middleware 3 Let's say here in this middleware 3 we do not have the next method. Then the request will return from this middleware 3 and it will again come back to the middleware 2. If we have written some code for the middleware 2 in this condition for the response, then this code will get executed and once it is done, the request again will come to the middleware 1. Here again we might have some code. This code again will get executed and then we will get the final response. So this is how the HTTP request pipeline work in ASP.NET Core. And this middleware is nothing. This is just a bundle of few lines of code. In simple term, we can say this is a functionality that we want to insert in our ASP.NET Core web application. Let's talk about middleware. A middleware is a piece of code that is used in the HTTP request pipeline. An ASP.NET Core web application can have n number of middlewares. So based on the functionality of our application, we can insert n number of middlewares. In ASP.NET Core web application, there are some pre-built middleware for us. We can use these pre-built middleware or we can create our custom middleware also. The order of middleware matters a lot in the request execution. The request will travel through each middleware in the same order that you have inserted them in the HTTP request pipeline. Let's see few examples of middleware. Suppose I want to implement the routing, then I need to use some middlewares in our HTTP request pipeline and then only we will be able to use the routing. Authentication. As per the concept, before actually hitting the controller, the request has to travel through some middlewares. And let's say we want to implement some security in our application. And as per the security concept, I want to give the access to some specific users. So basically, I want to implement the authentication. So as per the current concept, what is the best place to validate that request? The middleware. So we can insert the code for the authentication as a middleware in this request pipeline. When the request will come on the server, then this authentication middleware will verify the request if the request is valid, then it will pass the execution, basically call the next method. And if it is not valid, then it will simply return the request from this place. So by using this approach, the controller will be secure and only the valid users will be able to access that code. So middleware is a very important concept in ASP.NET Core application. Add exception page. Let's say you want to handle some exceptions in your application and the best place to handle the global exception is middleware because each request and response travel through the middleware so we can simply insert some code in our pipeline and we can handle the exception from one single place 
etc. Let's open the application in Visual Studio and let's see where is the place for this HTTP request pipeline. So here I'm using the same application that we have created in few previous videos. And here if you will open the startup class, in this class you can see we have two methods. First is the configure services and second is the configure. This configure method is very important and must have method for any ASP.NET Core web application. Your application will not run without this method. The name of the method should be configure. Now let's talk about middleware. Whatever code you have inserted in this method, those are basically middlewares. So this app.use developer exception page, this is an middleware. This app.use routing, this is also an middleware. Here we are using app.use endpoints. This is also an middleware and focus that we have inserted this code in a proper manner in this configure method. We have used the use routing first and then we are using this use endpoints. In this case, we will change the order. Let's say I'm using this use routing after this use endpoints, then we will get the exception. It means we need to focus on this concept very carefully and we need to understand the middleware for our ASP.NET Core web application.